Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Singh and today we are going to do workability of motor and this is uh, lecture number 23 and it is from modern concrete technology from unit number third. After watching this video, if you have any doubt, then you can contact me on saurabh.singh at the rate mygyanbihar.com and you can also call me at 7014914312. Come on the landing object you are learning out them. Here you will know about the workability of motor and you, are, you will also understand and uh, you will also know the behavior of method placing of motor. And you will, in learning outcome, you will be able to learn about the workability of motor and you will be able to know behavior and method placing of motor. So this is going to be very important lecture of modern concrete technology. So watch full video and you will understand what is the workability of motor. Now, as you can see, this is the difference between uh, motor and plaster. First, you should also know what is the difference between motor and plaster, how, uh, how motor can be taken the work and how, uh, what is the work of plaster. As you can see, this is the work of uh, motor by the binding of bricks and this is the plastering work which is also done by the help of motor. So building motor are maximum used for joining of bricks and stone. A paste obtained by the adding water to the mixture of fine aggregates such as sand binding material. The pyramids of Egypt have been built with the clay gypsum, gypsum line and lime motor. The safety strength and durability of resulting uh, any structure depend on the quality of motor as a binding medium. Plaster is the lean concrete then uh, it has prepared for the specific use of providing protective covering on the linear outer surface of construction. So this is the image of motor and these are the pyramid which is made by the motor. What is the function? We will also know and uh, by the function we will uh, we will uh, Categorize and we select our motor. It provides binding forces or cohesion between the structural unit. It acts as a medium of distributing the force throughout the structure uniformly. Additional strength and resistance against drain penetration and other such weather agencies. In stone or brick masonry, it is filler to empty joint and thin liquid motor used for the such purpose. It terms as the grout. It is it does pointing or plastering for the structure. Now we will see the selection of a good motor. It should be uh, selected on the basis of crushing strength. It should have uh, adequate crushing strength as you can see here. Durability, durability is also very important and it must be durable enough to resist the effect of weathering action. And it should be also impermeable. It should have sufficient permeability or water tightness, resistance to abrasion, it should be sufficient hard to provide enough resistance to abrasion. This property is very essential when the concrete is used for the making of pavement and steps. As you can see, it should be also the fire resistance. It should have minimum thermal expansion. So as we provided good resistance out to fire, workability, it should have good workability so that it can be readily deposited in the position in position in uniform layer and also adaptable or ornamental molding and compactness it is most sufficient dense the concrete with the greater density will be more compact shrinkage it should have a minimum shrinkage when it is hardened creep the continuous strain with the time with the concrete undergoes due to the due to application of external loads is called creep and yield of the plastic flow, it, this should be the minimum. Economy, it should be also economical for the desired strength. Appearance, it should provide the required finish to the concrete structure. Types of concrete and their use, as you know, concrete are classified into different types uh, as follow. According to binding material used in the preparation of concrete, according to design of concrete, according to purpose of concrete. Here is the classification according to the bind, uh, classification of motor according to binding material. First one is cement concrete. 
the concrete uh, consisting of cement and core segregate mix in suitable proportion in addition to water is called cement concrete now we will come on the type of plasters there is lime plaster cement plaster and gypsum plaster lime pl plaster it is mixing through the slaked lime and sand in the ratio of 1 and 2 3 sand surki by the volume with good quantity of water till the homogeneous lime paste is obtained especially useful as the protective plastering on the inner side of the wall and there is also one Mughal plaster which is known where we have to use one, one part of lime, three part of sand and one part of surki to which some geography white eggs have been also mixed in the Mughal plaster. These later material improve the adhesive properties, the strength and beauty of plaster. Lime should be thoroughly slaked and free from the unburned lime, grit and prevails. This is the image of lime plaster as you can see here and in lime plaster your color will be also whiteness of your plaster. Now we will see the cement plaster. It is lean mix of Portland cement and sand with the water. It is suitable for all type of plastering work proportion and uh, proportion for all purposes given here which is one part of cement and three part of sand. And it is applied in the single coat. Generally, it is applied the single coat because in single coat it can easily fulfill the our requirement. Because cement plaster is not cheapest plaster. If you will use the cement plaster, you have to spend a lot of money in the plastering work, and you do not need to do the double layer of this plaster. The surface of the plaster is kept wet from at the least at least three days after the application by the sprinkling water on it on it at regular interval so you can understand the curing of plaster is a very important till the three days and this is the image of cement plaster and it also gives the very good appearance and very good smoothness to the wall now here is a some common ratio of plaster which is known as getting plaster, gypsum plaster, and there is also some properties of plaster, uh, gypsum plaster is given, which is great resistance to fire, set, uh, set and harden quickly, undergo very little expansion on contract contractions. And you, you can see here, this is your gunting plastering, which is used for the preparation of a high reinforcement work. And this is your image of gypsum plaster as you can see here now come on this sand uh, it is a rock particle that range from that 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 range in grain size between 2 mm to 1 by 16 mm in composition and uh, uh, oxide of silica which is known as sio2 mostly broken grains of mineral quartz which is is SiO2 produced as a result of breakdown of granite, sandstones, and similar locked by the natural process of weathering and erosions. And this is the image of sand. Everyone knows the know, know about the natural sand, and it is very useful in the preparation of concrete, and it is also very useful in the preparation of cement mortar. Now there is also classification of sand. According to, mode, according to the mode of origin, pit sand, steam and steam sand and marine sand. Pit sand, what is the pit sand? Pit sand is generally sharp and angular and it is deposited, deposited by the wind in the form of accumulation in the soil. Sand when cleaned and washed make good mortar. It is, uh, it, when we use the pit sand, it also gives the good quality of mortar. There is a river sand which is generally used in the preparation of concrete and mortar. In India, if you will see uh, many structures, they are in many structures, this kind of river sand have been used for the preparation of concrete and mortar. And it occurs as a accumulation of great extent along the base and bank of the river. Shape, its shape is almost rounded. That's why it gives the very good strength and good binding. 
and it is generally free from clay, slate, and organic impurities. Most commonly used for the making mortar, plaster, and concrete. Is it is the most common material which is used in the preparation of cold grain. Now you can see here. This is your pit sand, and this is your natural sand, which is extracted from the uh, sand, which is which is extra extracted from the river bed. Now come on the marine sand. It occurs when the benches and along the seashore. The the shape of this kind of sand is rounded grain of quartz, covered with salt or not easily separable. It is used in mortar concrete slate react with the binding material. Marine sand are considered in inferior quality and should be better to avoid it. If it is only source available, must be used after the thoroughly washed. According to composition, clean sand, silty sand, and the clay sand. This is the marine sand. As you can see here, there is one problem. Here. There is a salt, and which will, uh, which which is very harmful for the making the concrete. Which is very harmful for making concrete. Now we will see the what is the proportioning. Of the raw material in the cement mortar, as you can see, for the masonry work, you have to use one quantity of cement, three quantity of sand, and one quantity of cement with the six quantity of sand. For reinforced brick work and other work, you have to use one quantity of cement, two quantity of sand, and and it can be also used one quantity of sand with the three quantity of sand. For a Architectural work, you have to use the one quantity of cement and three quantity of sand because you have to mold there. In architectural work, work you have to mold the cement paste in different shapes. For load bearing structure, you have to use one part of cement and two part of sand. And you can also use one part of cement and three part of sand. So you can understand for the load bearing means uh, here, your motor should be bear the more load that's why we need to use the less amount of sand here and as you can see here we have to use the one quantity of cement with the two quantity of sand for plastering work it provide a waterproof layer and protect the element from the weathering effect come on the mixing of raw material First one is the hand mixing. For a small quantity of mortar, we can use the hand mixing. And in hand mixing, there is some precautions which we have to uh, take care. First, we have to clean the dry sand is spread on the hooker platform and the cement required quantity is spread over it. Whole mass, mass is mixed and dry by the spread. Spades and required quantity of water is added. This mix can be used before the initial setting time of cement. Machine mixing for a large quantity of mortar required continuously at the fast rate. Cement and sand specified proportion are put into the drum of the mixture and required quantity of water is added. Drum is revolved for the sufficient period of form of the uniform mixture for the required consistency. As you can see here, this is the process of uh, preparing the cement mortar one method is uh, here which is known as the hand mixing method and second uh, method is also here which is known as machine mixing by this grinding machine uh, we, uh, we can easily mix cement with the uh, aggregate uh, cement with the sand and water and there will be also uh, consistency in this space now there is a, some precautions for the making of cement mortar. The setting process start even within the first hour of its preparation should be used within 30 minutes after adding water to cement and sand mixture. The structural unit, brick and stones must be soaked in water before laying on the wall. If dry unit weights, it's absorbed moisture quickly. If cement sand mortar place should be kept wet a list for the seven days. Use of cement mortar, as you can see, use where high strength is required and in the structure, which are subjected to wet conditions such as piers, dam, deep foundation, etc. For 
use of externally plastering and point work use of damp proofness course below the ground level use in use in exposed work such as exterior wall and the parapets engineering construction with the brick of high strength use in concrete as the cement mortar point the particles of course aggregate into the one solid mass use of cement mortar as you can see here this is the use of cement mortar from where you can make the plastering work and you can also do the binding of the wall gauge mortar is here also cementing material cement and lime both is known as the gauge mortar lime for this economical purpose of cement for strength method of making gauge mortar there are three ingredient in the uh, in the gauge mortar first one is lime cement sand are mixed together in the dry condition and predetermined value one is cement one is lime one is a, a sand as you can see here then add a small quantity of water increase the quantity of water gradually mixing is continued till the homogeneous paste of desired consistency is obtained lime sand mortar predetermined volume of cement is added in the dry state then mix thoroughly add a small quantity of additional water cement sand mortar same as the lime and mortar but used in slaked lime finely powered form and here is a plaster which is uh, uh, made by the lead mortar used mostly for the covering masonry surface lead mixes of cementing material with the fillers such as sand surki and crushed stone and there is also some protective plaster which is uh, used for the saving the uh, a wall from the atmospheric attack and also from the wind rain and harmful industrial gases used on the exterior wall decorative plaster is also here which is used for the appealing shades and finishing design to the construction used in the interior wall as you can see here that is the image of plastering from where we need to use this kind of mortar now we will see the object of mortar what is the objective of mortar first what is the objective of plastering first to provide a true even smooth and finished surface to the work and improve the appearance to protect the surface from the atmospheric influences to cover defective workmanship to provide a covering from the unsound and porous material so this was this was the objective of plastering as you can see here what is the if anybody will ask to you what is the objective of plastering then you can answer these are the objectives of plastering now come on the selection of raw material by the sand which we do here like sand should be the good quality for making a strong and durable mortar in pure in composition and second one is here and also given purpose to add sand mortar here what is the purpose for the adding a sand mortar in the concrete first is given here to bear the load minus sand plus limes which is using as the cement and it will become like a stone like a mass to resist the shrinkage and cracking second point is there and third point is also there which is uh, which is given to increase the bulk of the mortar now you can see the purpose to add sand in the mortar what is the role of sand in the preparation of mortar we will see here and in selection of uh, raw materials pozzolanic materials should be also used for the preparation of mortar as you know natural or artificial material that exhibits some binding properties when used in the cement or lime pure mix cinder uh, surki and ash surki is the finely grinding well burned brick cinder is the fine residue from the burning of coal in the railway engines and it is suitable for making lightweight mortar and what is pumice it is natural high highly porous volcanic rock rock which is formed by the accumulation and compaction of a ash from the volcanic volcans and suitable for the making lightweight it is also suitable material for the making of lightweight mortar 
Next one is a water which is suitable for drinking purpose and water should be free from alkalis, acid and organic residue. C point is also here. Mm -hmm. Manual mixing, common method for the ordinary construction, done either on the watertight uh, platform made of machinery or in tank of suitable dimension dug in the ground. First place measure volume of the lime on the platform and mix it properly. Water is added in small quantities at a time. Mixing is continued in a motor of uniform consistency is obtained. Motor meal mixing, it is a mechanical device for the grinding the motor included in the presence of water, either run up by an animal or by the motor powder power. As you can see here, this is your manual mixing for the preparation of motor by which we prepare the uh, cement motor. As you can see here, here we are mixing, uh, this man is mixing line plus sand and this is the mixing sand and this is your cement motor which is also prepared by the hand. And there is also motor mixing mill mixer which is used for the making high volume of motor as you can see here. This is the old techniques where when uh, these types of motor have been prepared and now there is automatically machine is available which uh, create which prepare very uh, fast and uh, very uh, very good qualities of motor in within a less time. Now we will see the properties of live motor. What is the properties of live motor? We will see here and it is quite plastic and workable when wet. Good working quality if made from the high calcium line. Develop strength very slow but gain continuous strength over long period. Do not set but stiffen as the water lost by the absorption by the unit weight or block in contact by the evaporation. Provide a fairly strong surface when it is used for the plastering. It also provides enough bond when it is used for the machinery joint. Now we will see what is the use of live motor for foundation work. It can be used for the foundation work and it can be also used for the machinery work. Fat lime motor can be used in all types of foundation work in dry subgrade. Water table is 2.5 meter below the foundation level. For all machinery work, loading capacity should be uh, between 20 to 60 tons per meter square. And it is also uh, lightweight uh, for machinery work, it is used for the light and medium loading. As you can see here, fat lime and hydraulic lime both are suitable for the preparation of light weight motor. Lime motor can be replaced by the cement motor. So uh, if you will see the old structures that are made by the lime motor, two blind stone, brick or concrete blocks together. Lime motor cannot be applied when there are some criteria of applying the Lime motor and as you can see here, first is given subgrade of soil is uh, moist and water table is within 2.5 meter means where water table will be high on that place you cannot use your lime motor. Heavy loading is expected, construction is massive and very thick. As you can see here, use of lime motor here. Uh, lime motor is used for the preparation of wall binding and all these kind of structure and come on the hardening of lime motor for fat lime to process there and loss of motor uh, what is the loss of motor as you can see here water mixed in the motor and with the lime during the hydration of uh, lost by the operation and these are the uh, function of hardening of lime motor now what is the precautions which we should uh, which we should uh, take care during the preparation of this kind of motor. Motor within lime, uh, hydraulic lime should be used within four hours after the mixing. Lime motor with surki should be used within 24 hours after mixing, as you can see here. And uh, composite, which is known as lime and cement motor, should be used within two hours after the mixing. All lime motors shall be kept wet after 
grinding. The worker who are handled lime mortar should be protect their skin using oil rubber gloves. Miss, there is some precautions which we need to take during the preparation of this kind of lime mortar. Now we will come on the cement mortar. Cement mortar is a homogeneous paste of fixed proportion of cement, sand and water. Strongest types of it is one of the strongest types of motors and it is preferred for the use in the construction of a structure subjected to heavy loading as you can see here. And here is also cement motor. Uh, what is the process of preparation of cement motor as you can see here? First, you have to do the selection of a raw material. The Portland cement must be pure and damaged ordinary Portland cement is most suitable. Sand. For sand, good sand should be of a good quality for making a strong and durable motor. Pure in construction, as you can see here, pure in composition and free from the impurities and solvent in the structure must be thoroughly clean before the using. No other aggregate can be replaced cement completely in the cement motor. Now we will see the what is the proportioning of the raw material in the cement motor as you can see for the masonry work you have to use one quantity of cement three quantity of sand and one quantity of cement with the six quantity of sand for reinforced brick work and other work you have to use one quantity of cement two quantity of sand and and it can be also used one quantity of sand with the three quantity of sand for a architectural work you have to use the one quantity of cement and three quantity of sand because you have to mold there in architectural work, work you have to mold the cement paste in different shapes for load bearing structure you have to use one part of cement and two part of sand and you can also use one part of cement and three part of sand so you can understand for the load bearing means uh, here your motor should be bare the more load that's why we need to use the less amount of sand here and as you can see here we have to use the one quantity of cement with the two quantity of sand for plastering work it provide a waterproof layer and protect the element from the weathering effect come on the mixing of raw material First one is the hand mixing. For a small quantity of mortar, we can use the hand mixing. And in hand mixing, there is some precautions which we have to uh, take care. First, we have to clean the dry sand is spread on the hooker platform and the cement required quantity is spread over it. Whole mass, mass is mixed and dry by the spread. Spades and required quantity of water is added. This mix can be used before the initial setting time of cement. Machine mixing for large quantity of mortar require continuously at the fast rate. Cement and sand specified proportion are put into the drum of the mixture and required quantity of water is added. Drum is revolved for the sufficient period of form of the uniform mixture for the required consistency. As you can see here, this is the process of uh, preparing the cement mortar one method is uh, here which is known as the hand mixing method and second uh, method is also here which is known as machine mixing by this grinding machine uh, we, uh, we can easily mix cement with the uh, aggregate cement with the sand and water and there will be also uh, consistency in this paste now there is some precautions for the making of cement mortar. The setting process start even within the first hour of its preparation should be used within 30 minutes after adding water to cement and sand mixture. The structural unit brick and stones must be soaked in water before laying on the wall. If dry unit weights, it absorb moisture quickly. If cement sand mortar place should be kept with at least for the seven days. Use of cement motor, as you can see, use where high strength is required and in the structure, which are subjected to weight conditions such as piers, dam, deep foundation, etc. For use of extremely plastering and pointing work, use of dam proofing course, 
below the ground level using using exposed work such as exterior wall and the parapets engineering construction with the brick of high strength use in concrete as the cement mortar find the particles of course aggregate into the one solid mass use of cement mortar as you can see here this is the use of cement mortar from where you can make the plastering work and you can also do the binding of the wall gauge mortar is here also cementing material cement and lime both is known as the gauge mortar lime for this economical purpose of cement for strength method of making gauge mortar there are three ingredients in the uh, in the gauge mortar first one is lime cement sand are mixed together in the dry condition and predetermined volume one is cement one is a lime one is a, a sand as you can see here then add a small quantity of water it creates the quantity of water gradually mixing is continued till the homogeneous paste of desired consistency is obtained lime sand mortar predetermined volume of cement is added in the dry state then mix thoroughly add a small quantity of additional water cement sand mortar same as the lime and mortar but used in slagged lime finely powered form and here is a plaster which is uh, uh, made by the lead mortar used mostly for the covering masonry surface lead mixes of cementing material with the fillers such as sand surki and crushed stone and there is also some protective plaster which is uh, used for the saving the uh, a wall from the atmospheric attack and also from the wind drain and harmful industrial gases used on the exterior wall decorative plaster is also here which is used for the appealing shades and finishing design to the construction used in the interior wall as you can see here that is the image of plastering from where we need to use this kind of mortar now we will see the object of mortar what is the objective of mortar first what is the objective of plastering first to provide a true even smooth and finished surface to the work and improve the appearance to protect the surface from the atmospheric influences to cover defective workmanship to provide a covering from the unsound and porous material so this was this was the objective of plastering as you can see here what is the if anybody will ask to you what is the objective of plastering then you can answer these are the objectives of plastering now we will come on the type of plasters there is lime plaster cement plaster and gypsum plaster lime pl plaster it is mixing thoroughly slaked lime and sand in the ratio of one and two three sands would keep by the volume with good quantity of water till the homogeneous lane paste is obtained especially useful as the protective plastering on the inner side of the wall and there is also one mughal plaster which is known where we have to use one one part of lime three part of sand and one part of surki to which some geography white except be also mixed in the mughal plaster these later material improve the adhesive properties its strength and beauty of plaster lime should be thoroughly slagged and free from the unburnt lime grit and prebabels this is the image of lime plaster as you can see here and in lime plaster your color will be also whiteness of your plaster now we will see the cement plaster it is lean mix of portland cement and sand with the water it is suitable for all type of plastering work proportion and uh, proportion for all purposes given here which is one part of cement and three part of sand and it is applied in the single coat generally it is applied the single coat because in single coat it can easily fulfill the our requirement because cement plaster is not cheapest plaster if you will use the cement plaster you have to spend a lot of money in the plastering work and you do not need to do the double layer of this plaster the surface of the plaster is kept wet from at the least at least 3 days after the application by the sprinkling water on it on it at regular interval so you can understand the curing of plaster is very important till the 3 days 
and this is the image of cement plaster and it also gives the very good appearance and very good smoothness to the wall. Now here is a some common ratio of plaster which is known as getting plaster, gypsum plaster and there is also some properties of plaster, uh, gypsum plaster is given which is great resistance to fire, set, uh, set and harden quickly, undergo very little expansion on contract contractions. And you, you can see here, this is your gunting plastering, which is used for the preparation of a high reinforcement work. And this is your image of gypsum plaster, as you can see here. Now come on this sand. Uh, it is a rock particle that range from that, that, that range in grain size between 2 mm to 1 by 16 mm. In composition and uh, uh, oxide of silica, which is known as SiO2, mostly broken grains of mineral quartz, which is IS SiO2, produced as a result of breakdown of granite, sandstones, and similar locked by the natural process of weathering and erosions. And this is the image of sand. Everyone knows the know, know about the natural sand, and it is very useful in the preparation of concrete and it is also very useful in the preparation of cement motor. Now there is also classification of sand according to, mode, according to the mode of origin, pit sand, steam and steam sand and marine sand. Pit sand, what is the pit sand? Pit sand is generally sharp and angular and it is deposited, deposited by the wind in the form of accumulation in the soil. Sand when cleaned and washed make good mortar. It is, uh, it when we use the pit sand, it also gives the good quality of mortar. There is a river sand which is generally used in the preparation of concrete and mortar. In India, if you will see uh, many structures, they are in many structures, this kind of river sand have been used for the preparation of concrete and mortar and it occurs as a accumulation of great extent along the base and bank of the river. Shape, its shape is almost rounded. That's why it gives the very good strength and good binding. And it is generally free from clay, slate, and organic impurities, most commonly used for the making mortar, plaster, and concrete. It is the most common material which is used in the preparation of concrete. Now you can see here, this is your pit sand and this is your natural sand, which is extracted from the uh, sand, which is, which is extra, extracted from the river bed. Now come on the marine sand, it occurs when the benches and along the seashore, the, the shape of this kind of sand is rounded grain of quartz covered with salt are not easily separable. It is used in motor concrete slate react with the binding material. Marine sand are considered in inferior quality and should be better to avoid it. If it is only source available, must be used after the thoroughly washed. According to composition, clean sand, silty sand and the clay sand. This is the marine sand. As you can see here, there is one problem. Uh, there is a salt and which will, uh, which, which is very harmful for the making the concrete, which is very harmful for making concrete. Come on the sand. Uh, it is clean sand, well graded most cause particle and the void range of grain size. Clean sand must be used for making mortar, plaster, and concrete. Silty sand, it is poorly graded, considerable poor portion of silt. And clay sand is poorly graded and prominent clay fraction below the one by 256 mm size. And also, it is also used for the, it is also used for the uh, artificially sand. Sand is also obtained artificially by the crushing natural a rock and required grain size. According to grain size, coarse sand, which is size between which size between one two to one mm, medium sand, which which has size one to zero point two five mm, and fine sand soil, which has size of uh, zero point two five to zero point one five mm. Now you can see the images of different kinds of sand. 
which is used in the preparation of mortar and concrete. Now we will see the bulking of the sand. This is also a defective properties of a sand. What is the bulking of sand? Volume of sand will be more when water is present in, in it, even in a small quantity. Volume of moist sand is more than the dry sand. And the bulking of sand, the change the change or increase the volume of sand on the getting moist. Important in the construction. All the mixes designed denote the proper proportion of the sand, essentially dry state. Factor affecting on the rate of bulking is here also percentage of moisture content. Bulking effect is maximum when moisture content is sand between 4 to 6 percent as water percentage increases, the effect goes decreasing. So you can understand this can be also harmful for the preparation of mortar and concrete. Now you can see here there is water and this is the uh, this is the uh, dry sand and this is your this is your wet sand and this is your dry sand. If you will see the same volume, there is same quantity the volume but volume of that sand will be more, as you can see here. Now this is the graph which is showing the relation between the percentage increases in the volume over the dry rubbed sand. And there is percentage of moisture added by the mass to dry around road sand. Now come on the MCQs. Uh, first MCQ is there. The sand motor is what is the sand motor is. First one is prevent shrinkage spread motor allow carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to penetrate deeply and all of the above. Here right answer will be here right answer will be D all of the above. Come on the next question, the appro approximate proportion of dry cement mortar required for the brick work is 60 to 45 percent, 30 percent, 10 percent. Here right answer will be C, which is 30 percent. This is very important question and these types of question have been asked in the many government exams. <coughs> Come on the next question. The compound responsible for the initial setting time of cement. There is four options, tetracalcium aluminate, tricalcium silicate, dicalcium silicate, tel tetra aluminophernide. And there is option A, which is the right answer. And this is also very uh, important question and many person can, and many, in many interview, this question have been asked. What is the compound which is, which is responsible for the initial setting time of cement, then you have to answer tricalcium aluminate. Now come on the next question, plaster of peers, which is also known as POP, is obtained by the calcination of, first option is given gypsum, dioxide, limestone and clanker, here right answer will be A. And uh, as we all know, plaster of Paris is obtained by the calcination of gypsum. This is also a very important question. Come on the next question, the fuel generally used for the burning limestone is, first one is a firewood, charcoal, coal and any of these, here will be, uh, right answer will be A. Come on the next question, the initial setting time of concrete ceases at, what will be the right answer here, it will be C, 0 degree Celsius. Come on the next question, which of the following statement is correct? Fat lime contained hardly 5% of clay, hydraulic lime contained 5.3% of clay, poor lime contained more than 30% of clay. And there is one option is also here, which is all of the above here, right answer will be fat lime contained hardly 5% of clay. Come on the next question, which of the following does not react with the concrete, sewage water, sulfuric, acid, vegetable oil, and alcohol. Here, right answer will be alcohol. The next question, the heaviest metal is, what is the heaviest metal is steel, lead, tin, and cast iron. This is your, you can also say this is your, uh, a, a very important question. Here, right answer will be lead, which is also known as mercury. For RCC slab, the slab of concrete should be, what will be the range of slab here? This question is asking here. 
and here right on here is option given 0 to 25 mm 25 to 50 mm 75 to 100 mm 50 to 125 mm here right answer will be 72 100 mm this kind of slum uh, uh, concrete is used for the preparation of rcc slab and now come on the reference this is the reference of today lecture and this lecture was very important for all civil engineering student uh, maybe you are doing the tech in civil engineering, maybe you are doing the um, tech in construction engineering or any other stream. Because this is the uh, basic lecture uh, of the motor. If you will watch this lecture, you will know the basic idea about, about the motor, which is very important for a civil engineering student. Thank you for watching this video.